يعطيكم العافية بلشنا المحاضرة about DNA editing so محاضرتين المحاضرة الأولى بالتكنيكس was really about DNA replication أو amplification you're amplifying DNA with PCR المحاضرة الوراء كانت about some DNA detection techniques مثلا كان southern blot gel electrophoresis حكينا عن what else did we cover حكينا عن sequencing and it can be a DNA detection method as well you're detecting DNA sequences so محاضرة اليوم is really mainly about DNA editing so is this is is DNA editing really a diagnostic procedure? It's more on a molecular biology standpoint. But uh, we will see later on. You know, DNA editing is becoming therapeutic, so it will it will have its applications within the diagnostics. And yeah, camel diagnostics, so we can do this uh, next bit. Uh, so we'll be there. We'll talk about cloning. قبل ما نحكي عن الكلونينج we want to cover again restriction in the nucleases which we used when we were digesting our DNA before adding it to southern blot so in the nucleases جوهم هادو الانزيمز حكينا منوخد من بكتيريا and that they recognize إذا تذكروا حكينا palindromic sequences which are sequences زي ما وريناكم they can be read uh, forward and reverse in the same so GGGCCC and a reverse will be GGGCCC so that's a palindromic uh, site these restriction engine nucleases are actually bacterial enzymes and there are common ones that are commonly used there are ones that are less used so uh, bacterial enzymes recognize these sites these um, uh, these specific sites that are present in, in any uh, prokaryotic or eukaryotes and then it cuts them by introducing uh, or breaking the phosphodiesterase between the nucleotides at these specific sequences Shoe palindromic sequences these are the, the sequences that are recognized by these endonucleases and they are read forward and, 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 and reverse in the same manner من الأشياء كتير مستخدم إكو آر ون كتير مستخدم هندي ثري مستخدم كتير إكس با ون إس إس مي إس مي ون تاك ون كتير أشياء يستخدمو تشوف كلهم بالدروميك جي إي إي تي تي سي جي إي إي تي تي سي وهكذا 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 كلهم كان بي يوزد فور ذا بيربس أز فور ديتكشن سو ذيز آر ديتكتد باي ذيز enzymes and cuts them so they recognize these specific sequences so methylene the enzyme echo r1 recognizes and cuts the sequence GAA TTC so and cuts within these sequences بن خلال هاي sequence that it does not it knows it so this echo r1 methylene will not cut this area this is uh, not G A A T T C. This is G C A T T C. So the the DNA will stay intact. If you do southern blot, after most southern blot, if you're doing an RFLP, for you want to see uh, by restriction enzymes, uh, will this gene be cut at this point? It will not be cut. This is a this is for a, a polymorphism. So this polymorphism causes you to have one less cut in this gene. So when you run the gel, like Zemorjinakum, the gel will be will not show a cut piece. Oh, now, for it is GAATTC. So this this one will be cut. هاي هاي نقطة ال ال قطع it will be a sticky end. رح نحكي لكم شو معناها. And this will be cut in two pieces. فإذا عندك هذا الجين, it will be cut in two pieces. And this gene will not be cut in two pieces. زي سكر سلاني ما زي ما حكينا بالبداية كي مثلاً سكر سلاني ما this one normal is cut twice. The abnormal is only cut once. مثلاً. So that's basically the same thing. Hala, polymorphic restriction sites, for example, in allele one, 
تذكروا بالمحاضرة الماضية how we mentioned uh, you can do this for alleles and بتحكي مثلا ممكن تعرف العيلة who has the uh, recessive and, and who has the dominant uh, this can be done with the polymorphic restriction sites as well فمثلا this one has three restriction sites will be broken down to four fragments this only has two sites will be broken to three fragments one of the fragments is longer so uh, so this is if it's not recognized you will have a polymorphism uh, one allele is different مثلا and uh, you will have طب اذا كان عندك الاثنين اذا عندك عندك الاليل هذا والاليل هذا you will have you will have four fragments and three fragments so you have a large fragment high fragment مثلا نفس هاي so you will you will you will detect one two how many unique uh, uh, cuts is, is how many unique lengths that you will find مثلا هنا هاي مثلا نحكي هاي وهاي نفس الشيء نحكي هاي وهاي نفس الشيء so you will find one unique two unique نفس هاي unique نفس هاي unique two ثلاثة أربعة خمسة so you will find five unique bits why because this is a unique bit this is a unique bit and this is a whole unique bit because it has not been cut and this is one and this is one so you will have five if you have if you have both alleles here so DNA polymorphisms whom individual variations in the DNA sequences كلياتنا عنا polymorphisms your gene حتى عن أخوك حتى عن أختك حتى عن your cousins whatever everything you will find that each each person has a unique DNA sequence and they have their own polymorphisms their own very unique thing that ha that may or may not alter the بالأغلب polymorphisms will not alter the function of genes it will be in areas بال protein مش بال مش بال enzymatic side مثلا ولا بال maybe in less important parts of the protein and they will not or non-protein sites مثلا so they have some عشان هيك واحد مثلا بكون عنده مثلا in non-coding areas you might have polymorphism here which might improve regulation or reduce regulation يكون هذا يكون عنده الانزيم P450 اكثر من اخوه هذا بأخذ الدواء الفلاني ما بتأثر هذا بأخذ الدواء نفس الدواء مثلا بنعص منه مثلا so all these polymorphisms make up make us unique between ourselves so these uh, variations حتى within within nations مثلا العرق الفلاني عنده polymorphism الفلاني أكثر من الثاني وهكذا so individual variations in DNA sequences may create or remove restriction in enzyme recognition size which, which generate different fragments زي ما حكينا that we are being diploid and we have two alleles which we uh, mentioned هلا شو أنواع ال cuts what how do restriction sites cut they can either cut هيك أبدا bluntly يعني so مثلا بيقطع إذا كان مثلا بيقطع بين ال A وال T so we will have two perfectly unique two perfectly equal cuts فبروح يكون هذا blunt زي مثلا تكسر تقطع مثلا خشبة بصاروف هيك بيقطع خط هيك فبتكون blunt أو هذا in for, for this specific site it is cut at the G so cut at the G like it, it will have these hanging ends I want to turn cut at the G so you will have the A A T T C hanging in one A A T T this creates the capability of homology can this is this side this is side homologous lahada can they recombine they can but they this is called sticky and they are easily recombined can this recombine with this no no my fishy you cannot create an method an AT bond or a TA bond or a whatever you can't create that anymore because it's cut bluntly here so these are the different kinds of cuts by endonucleases uh, mostly we use sticky ends because they are easier you can use an enzyme who ligase to ligate them blunt ends can stick in this manner or they can also stick with a can and high can this end can stick to this end or this end can stick to this end or this end من هون هذا يركب مع هذا وهذا يركب مع هذا so lots of uh, unwanted sticking sticking that you want if you want to do cloning so it is much difficult to do a blunt end هذا بوجه في توجيه 
بيعرف ان تي على اي تي على اي اي مع تي اي مع تي فتي توجيه فيو ويل نوت هاف اول ذا اذر سبيشيز ذات مايت كم اب ويز بلانت اند كاتنج So enzymes are cut at the same position on both strands, giving a blunt end. These are the blunt end cuts of the restriction enzyme, and the stagger or the sticky end are those that leave those sticky hanging cohesive ends. So uh, zoom in to the sticky ends. Hi, Hona, for example. So uh, T T A A. So they will come if you cut them like this. When you when you put these species in harm, they lose each other, they lose each other, they lose each other. After that, you need to. Uh, Create the actual bond, five prime to three prime. So you use a DNA ligase. Ligase, let's see. So let's see. But so, so you add after you put these um, cut ends, you can put them together, and then you add the ligase. بعطي وقت تشتغل. I usually leave it overnight uh, at four degrees, مثلا, and then they will do the blaze about, and then it will come create a bond from here to here. Half one. And then from here to here, and then you will have sticky end DNA ligation, and you have a stable bond here. So that's how you do cutting and pasting with DNA. هلا أنت صار عندك a tool, مقص اللي هو restriction enzyme, ولزة اللي هو ligase. So now we can create all kinds of species of DNA. You can cut genes, you can add genes, you can cut, you can introduce mutations, you can remove mutations, you can Uh, add uh, in deletions. You can add insertions. يعني, uh, it's the world is your oyster. Do whatever you want with this. And this is what cloning is. This is what is cloning. Cloning means that you are creating several copies of one thing, several exact copies. That's what clone. If there is a few people, for example, Umar Shaf, for example, in Star Wars, because the Clone Wars, that every Jedi is based on exact copy of the other soldiers. Or, مثلا إذا شفت مثلا the clone تبع the first sheep that was cloned مثلا it is an exact copy. So, or مثلا clone the proliferation بال بال immunology. So you have a CD4 cell that has recognized or has been presented with an antigen. هل هاي السل أنا بتهمني بكتير لأنه it is a regulator for an antigen that I need to fight against. So I make exact copies of the same. So it is undergoes clonal proliferation. مثلا monoclonal antibody anticlonal عفوا polyclonal antibody so monoclonal is one clone of the same polyclonal many clones that are similar to each other so this is what cloning is you are trying to create cells that are all exact copies of one another a clone is genetically identical population whether of organism cells viruses DNA and every member of the population is derived from a single cell virus or DNA molecule so Uh, these are clones of this, the all are clones of this, and this are clone of this. What happened? How do we clone a DNA molecule? في طرق كثيرة. This restriction enzyme is the is the is the most common one. في أنواع تانية. Yes, في أنواع تانية. رح أحكيكم عن. This is a, a common, a, a new and up and coming, uh, and a game changer really in in uh, DNA editing. Uh, called CRISPR Cas9. راح أحكيكم عنها. أنا استخدمت التكنولوجيا قبل CRISPR. بعدين استخدمنا CRISPR. في تكنولوجيا قديمة اسمها Lambda Red that uses uh, bacteria proteins that can you can give it a vector or give it a, a DNA species, a molecule, and it will incorporate, it will cut, it will cut and ligate for you. I will insert it for you uh, at the site of homology. So, uh, but Most people use cloning uh, using restriction enzymes, which you make a DNA fragment of interest. مثلاً بدك تحط genes جديد بدك تحط something that will add uh, uh, you want to add, add a gene, a different gene. So this is the vector. Vector عبارة عن plasmid. Plasmid DNA. أنت قرأته عن transformation, conjugation, هذا الحكي. Your first assignment. So a plasmid is the extra. Genomic DNA in bacteria. So, but put the vector. I want to see the bacteria. For example, what is it sensitive to? For example, let's say it is sensitive to ampicillin. Ampicillin kills it. So you make a vector. Enter. Put on the DNA that you want. Cut and ligate. You cut with restriction enzyme. I want to see the DNA sequence. For example, 
بعدين بتلاقي تدور لك على هاي الجين اللي بدي اياه هاي الفيكتور عادة في ديزا مالتيبل كلونينج سايت منطقة عادة بنضيفها احنا بالفيكتور فيها اكثر من ريستريكشن كت سايت بحيث انك انت تنقي شو بدي احط مثلا ان اكس با ان اكس با 1 سايت ان اكو ار 1 سايت مثلا او دبل اكو ار 1 وات ايفر عادة مثلا سو يو كان يوز ذات يو ويل اد يور يو ويل كت يور موليكيول هير تخليه بعدين يو هاف يور بي سي ار يو ميك يو ميك ذس فورين جين ويز باي بي سي ار مثلا بحيث انك تضيف ذا ستيكي اند هون فور اكس با 1 ستيكي اند فور اكو ار 1 هون مثلا بتضيفهم انت على البرايمرز تبعينك اند ذن يو ميك يور يور فورين جين ذات يو ونت تو انتروديوس مثلا So and then uh, what are you going to do? You're going to ligate them. أطعت هذا وأطعت هذا. You cut them both. بتحطهم مع بعض. You ligate them, and then you have a vector that carries your foreign gene. هذا الفيكتور بتحط عليه. You make you you can buy it or whatever. But بتحط عليه مثلاً ampicillin resistance gene. بعدين بتحطه transformation in your host cells with bacteria. بتحطها مع البكتيريا ب ampicillin. البكتيريا اللي بتعيش. معناتها حامل الفيكتور because you you gave the vector the ampicillin so now you have made multiple copies of your vector in each bacterial cell and then you can take them and then you can مثلا ممكن تاخذ يعني تعمل culturing تاخذ الخلايا pellet them and you destroy them and take all the DNA out you can make a plasmid prep and then take all your plasmid and now you have this plasmid هذا plasmid you have is your foreign gene you can add it ممكن تستخدمه مثلا some plasmids can be used for transfection you can use them to add genes into uh, human culture cells مثلا you can use it for bacterial purposes you can do whatever you want to do so that is a recombinant DNA molecule so that is using plasmids as vectors bacterial plasmids are considered excellent vectors uh, these are bacteria circular DNA that is not Part of the main circular DNA chromosomes. Okay, this is the genome, and these are the. I'm not going to have a genome. It has sora, and these are the plasmids. Plasmid exists as closed circle and replicates independently of the main bacterial genome. So, you can you can add them. يعني مش ضروري you can add a plasmid to the bacteria. كل بكتيريا لها طريقة معينة. مثلاً Streptococcus pneumonia is naturally competent. بس حط جنبها DNA بتسحبها. في other bacteria they're very hard. بدك تستخدم مثلاً chemical transformation or electrical or whatever. So features of plasmids. Most plasmid vectors contain at least three essential parts. اللي هو origin of replication, because it can replicate by itself. Can be selected for against by an internal drug resistance marker, مثلاً ampicillin resistance gene, and an insert of foreign DNA fragment. Gene which you can add your DNA. A multiple cloning site, as we have mentioned, which has multiple cut sites for different restriction enzymes that you can use to insert your DNA. On making of recombinant DNA, both the DNA fragments, the DNA to be cloned, and the vector are cut by the same restriction endonuclease that makes the DNA fragment with same sticky ends that hybridize to each other when mixed. This we have mentioned a little bit earlier. So. You have your bacterial cell. Uh, high multiple clone site. أطعت ب echo R1 مثلاً. حطيت your DNA from human cells. أط حطيتها مع echo R1 كمان. You can add it with PCR or it might it might happen to have it also. So you put them together, you recombine them, and put them in the gene, and then you have bacterial cell with a containing gene of human growth hormone مثلاً. You can tell the cell. You can تحكي the cell. مثلاً إذا أنت عارف عندك هون the origin. You can have a promoter site مثلاً. تحكي لهاي تحط هالبكتيريا مثلا اذا بتحط هاي البكتيريا خلينا نحكي مع certain sugar or certain molecule it will promote this gene so you'll start making a lot of what the gene that you added from the human cell which is what مثلا human growth hormone insulin and then you prepare the the protein and then you have made what you made insulin you made a human growth hormone whatever that's cloning so that's recombinant you can use that as well uh, another application for this So, uh, what do we have here? Uh, recombinant plasmid. So, uh, you made the, your DNA with a plasmid vector. You enzymatically insert the DNA into the plasmid vector. You mix E. coli with a plasmid with, method, um CACL2. You culture a nutrient agar containing ampicillin, only the one that has 
the recombinant plasma will grow, these will die, and then you have independent plasma replication. If you want to know if you put this plasma in, if you grow them, for example, you did it and you grew them, you grew the bacteria, and then you put it in a place where there is no ampicillin, what would happen? Some bacteria will actually lose this. ما البكتيريا ما بستخدم هالبلازما ما بش بحاجة بتكبه. So be careful to that. You need to always use ampicillin as ever as long as you always have your plasmid in the in the cells that you need to use. So cell clones, cell multiplications. You will use these will multiply. These are all cloned the DNA. And these, and this is a colony of cells, each containing the copy of the same recombinant DNA. هلا بدنا ندخل على the new system called CRISPR-Cas9. هلا قبل ما ندخل على CRISPR-Cas9, قبلي there is a system called Lambda Red. I'm not really gonna get into it because, يعني it's now it can be thought of as outdated. Because now this is the this is becoming more and more. أنتم بتو تتجهوا للمستقبل يعني بدلاً من تتجه لإشي مثلاً has been used before. But lambda red four was basically contained three genes which will which you translate and you make sure that the bacteria translate them and make the proteins and then you add the DNA. If those genes are, are translated and the proteins are there, they will rescue your DNA and then they will add your DNA to a homologous sequence on the genome or a plasmid. So you can effectively uh, modify genome or plasmid with that. Hala CRISPR Cas9 is something, it's the new thing. And it is, it is really uh, blowing up recently. And I suspect that this tool will be something that you will use if you go into research and it might be even in labs for at the diagnostic purposes. That's why we uh, have included it into the course. أول إشي شو وين إحنا شفنا الكاس 9 So CRISPR Cas9, CRISPR system اللي هو كله هذا والكاس genes was first identified in E. coli. Uh, so it is a bacterial uh, gene. It stands for clustered, regularly interspaced. Short palindromic repeats. CRISPR, C R I S P R. Clustered, so they are clustered together. مع بعض جنب جنب بعض they are clustered together. شو هم ذا ذا they clustered together. They are short palindromic repeats. So these are short S R S R P short. عفوا S P R short palindromic repeats. حكينا شو يعني palindrome. So something that you can read forward and and reverse. The same thing, and they are short. Short in respect to that, they are 20 to 40 base pair, so they are repeated over and over and over, and they are regularly interspaced, and they are in a cluster. So they are all connected, regularly interspaced. In between them, a cut. So this is the picture. So you have these short palindromic repeats. Then space, then short number, then space, then short, then space, and so on and so on. These are CRISPR genes. Our CRISPR site. So they are clustered together, clustered, clustered, regularly interspaced, high space, space, space. So they are regular interspaced. We could both be in the same. Then they are short palindromic repeats. These are palindromic repeats. من هون بنقرأوا زي ما قرأوا من هون. فأول شيء ما شافوه ما ما عرفوه هم. كانوا ما بيعرفوا شو هم. What what are they? We don't know. بعدين لقوا إنه في بينات في بيناتهم these spacer sequences هدول كانوا identical يعني شو they are repeats 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 but these are not identical ما عرفوا شو هم بعدين بالنهاية عرفوا إنه هدول these are sequences for phages so مين هم الفيجز phages are viruses that infect that infect bacteria خلينا نبدأ يعفوا so phages are the viruses that infect bacteria. So turns out, you know, these um, viruses, when they infect bacteria, the bacteria has a system 
an antiphage system, a system to or an immune system that it wants to use to destroy phages. What do phages infect the bacteria with? With DNA or RNA. So usually DNA. So what do they do? They have these uh, short palindromic repeats with a spacer. How the spacer turns out to be specific to a phage. One of the phages that uh, infects this specific bacteria. How the phage tells you. How the phage tells you. So uh, these are actually homologous to the phage sequences. The region is associated with a number of genes that bind to these products of sequences called Cas, Cas, Asiatic Cas, CRISPR associated genes. So that's these are the genes. From our we're going to talk about them Genes, a cluster of genes. But then the short, inter regularly interspaced, palindromic repeats, and the space between them are these homologous sequences for phages. So the Cas genes have two functions. هذول الجينز اللي جوا شو عندهم شو بيستخدموا شو بيعملوا؟ They are helicases وحنا بنعرف شو هم helicases and they are endonucleases and we know شو يعني so معناته هم something to unwind DNA and something to cut DNA. That's what the Cas gene, the protein that comes out of the Cas gene does. So all of the above is a bacteria antiphage system. Cas protein مع السبيسر بيطلع هذا فمعناته أنا عندي إشي to bind the phage. Uh, sequence and the issue to bind the Cas protein and the Cas protein which will unwind the DNA for the uh, it has a helicase so it has it can unwind the DNA for the phage that the phage injected and it has endonucleases which will cut the DNA into multiple parts and then destroy it and this way the DNA will not be able to to incorporate itself into the genome of the host in here bacteria and kill it and you know take over that cell so hey so this is uh, this is يعني هذول بالنسبة لي أنا حاطعهم إنه this is the where endonucleases are so this is the short repeats and this is the spacer sequence بيجوا مع بعض برتبطوا مع بعض and they can the, this is the what it uses to bind the injected DNA from the phage and then it binds it and destroys it so helicase and denuclease function, function my homologous sequence of the phage Kulhum binding and unwinding and breakage of the phage DNA Hal إذا أنا ما عمري شفت الفيج DNA من وين بيجيبوا spacer sequences من وين بعرفوهم So if they come up So they have another protein called Cas1 Which binds unknown phages Unknown sequences And then goes and puts them here تروح تحطهم هون كل ما تشوف phage جديد بحط السيكونس تبعه هون عشان next time it will so or at the same time, we'll be able to use it and make the the cas gene. Or even the next time, as long as the DNA survives, it will go to the next cell and then it will be able. So this is like like an immune system for the past infections of different phages. Cas9, more than Cas9. Cas9 is from Streptococcus pyogenes, and it was used to fit eukaryotic sequence. كيف استخدمنا هاي النقطة؟ شو شو بهمنا مع الحكي كله؟ So we have a protein that can bind DNA and then can cut DNA. فالناس فكروا حكوا بما إنه في هدول spacer sequences بيمسكوا فيج بكتيريا بكسروهم بقدر أحط بدل sequence هون للفيج أحط sequence ل human gene مثلاً واحد هاي السؤال الأول. هذا سؤال سألوه الأول. سؤال ثاني سألوه هل هذا الجين هل هذا البروتين بيشتغل جوا الخلية البشرية؟ هذا السؤالين. فعشان يقدروا يشوفوا شو بيعملوا فرعوا شافوا إنه مثلاً you have this tracer RNA called tracer RNA segment which stabilizes this cRNA which is the CRISPR RNA هاي CRISPR RNA مع السبيسر معها tracer which is which stabilizes them هذا كله what binds to the Cas9 protein. So راحوا عملوا فزاحوا هاي spacer sequence وحطوا host RNA and then they had a chimeric RNA which is made of two species it was human and then the bacteria so uh, they made them together and they, they tested it they, it, it turns out yes it can function into in, inside human cells and it can bind our own DNA so now هلا صار انه 
what can we do with this? So to utilize this in our system, we use our own RNA sequence as cRNA. We bind into the tracer RNA in the bacteria. This is a new chimeric RNA. Hi, sir, it's my guide RNA. So this is the guide RNA, the tracer from the bacteria, our host RNA, and this is this binds to the Cas9 protein, and then this guides your Cas9 to a specific sequence, bil, bil DNA molecule tabatak in your own DNA. What can we use this system for? So we can use the system as it is used previously from previous slides to introduce cuts into the target DNA. Hem ya Rabbi, it has nucleases. So it can cut, it has two endonucleases, one from here, one from here, so it can cut double strands. So we know the first utilization is the target DNA, we come to the target sequence, the target area, for example, the gene region. This is the Cas9 BG, it will cut it from here, from here, double strands. It will cut the sequence, a little bit. So what comes? If you don't have template, what can, what is the mechanism in the first or I think in the second that you use to repair damage of DNA that you don't have the template for? Use non-homologous enjoining. Non-homologous enjoining has a lot of errors because it does not have a template. So use non-homologous enjoining to repair this, the, the damage done. It wants to repair this DNA damage. Mafi template, non-homologous enjoining, high error, mutation. The gene will be inactivated, and that's how you knock out genes. So you can now we can knock out genes. Hi, I will knock. So now, we can knock out a lot of genes, create a lot of knockout in a very easy manner. But then, so now, I want to add gene. I want to add a gene. I want to modify the gene. Not the entire whole of it. I want to specifically know what I want to add. So now, so now, I'm using the Cas9 gene with my guide RNA. شو بضيف عليهم؟ بضيف عليهم host RNA. So if you want to prevent non-homologous enjoining, ما بدي اياك تستخدم non-homologous enjoining. بدي اياك تستخدم homologous enjoining. I want you to, I want to guide you to 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 يا يا مين يا Cas9 no يا repair mechanisms تبع الخلية. So I want to guide the repair mechanisms after the cut has been made by Cas9. إنه to fix this error in the manner that I want. مثلاً كان في point mutation that causes the gene to not function. بدي لما تصلح هذا الكت اللي عملته and you want to go to do non-homologous enjoining بدي أعطيك ال RNA أنا أعطيك RNA تانية guide RNA a template RNA that you use يا خلية يا repair mechanisms للخلية you use this and then you so I put the 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 actual nucleotide that I want to use that that is correct بحطه بيجي هال هال هالخلية استخدم ال repair mechanism استخدم ال RNA and then so and then you will introduce the 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 mutation that you want or remove the mutation that you had so that's how you force the cell to use homologous enjoining and in this way you are modifying genes you are adding insertions deletions uh, removing uh, polymorphisms removing mutations adding genes by يعني adding segments of genes as well so that's the other mechanism for how you can edit uh, genes by uh, CRISPR. Hello, that you come sort of how this happens. So this figure uh, really has uh, all what we went through so far. So hi, this is your tracer RNA, your CRISPR RNA, and it is bound to the Cas9 gene, the alpha protein. So the the guide RNA or the chimera that we made this is uh, you know the base pairing it has um, other structures that uh, we want I don't want to really go into um, it's just that we know that it is a short sequence and uh, there is more complexity here uh, that uh, to design this to make it better. Um, so it can be a better guiding our gRNA. So this whole comes, the uh, helicase will unbind the DNA, the endonucleases will come and cut the sequence for you. So what are the main two main CRISPR-9 mechanisms that you use that involved RNA guided targeting? The wild type Cas9 
has your uh, guide RNA molecule it will come bind the gene so the Cas9 uh, hold on so this comes bind the gene and un unwinds it so we have and then we depend on the repair mechanisms for the cell itself to fix this so you can use non-homologous in joining if you do not add an exogenous DNA and what it could cause endel mutations disrupting the reading frame maybe larger deletions, chromosomal translocation inversions if the segments is on a different chromosome we find with CRISPR-9 CRISPR or Cas9 you know you when you do the wild type you introduce a lot of off-site errors يعني, ramifications for this deletion that you cause we might know off frame and can can cause problems downstream for this and in, 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 in the entire genome so it's not uh, يعني, it's not without its consequences ممكن تستخدم homologous in joining homologous repair you uh, exogenous DNA with homologous overlap which is with the homologous repair targets side and you can target the genome editing and this is used in the bacteria bacteria is used in the fish and other things in nematodes I think as well so that's the versatility so you can use it with GFP green fluorescent protein to, to label it and so on this is what we've so far there are other variations for uh, there are variations for the Cas9 system. There is what is called the nickase, which has one of the two in the nucleus is disabled. Two cuts, double stranded cuts, it causes a single stranded cut. So the single stranded cut, so one of the DNA strands is, is, is removed, and this uh, reduces off target error. And then uh, we use another gRNA molecule for the other strand, and then the repair mechanisms will have. Strand من الأولى و strand من الثانية to fix and then will this will target homologous in joining and then can reduce off target errors. في Cas9 null اللي هو ما بعمل ما فيش فيها ولا endonuclease so it, it only can bind to the target DNA. شو بستخدمه هذا؟ it can highlight DNA for me. بحكي لي مثلا هاي DNA be inside the cell. إنه هاي DNA تبعتك هيها هون. It can it can bind it. بحكي لك موجودة ولا مش موجودة. So you can look for mutations, for errors, for deletions, for insertions, for whatever you can highlight. But the 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 neat thing as well is you can fuse this unendonucleated or the, that has no endonucleus Cas9. You can put it with a transcription blocker, and it can block the gene from from transcription. PP64, which is an act in, in transcriptional activator, which is which will activate transcription. For the gene can مشكلة إنه it's not being transcribed. تحط معه تحط له Cas9 with VP64, and it will come and transcribe the gene. أو عندك gene بدك توقفه. You can do that with مثلا KRA, which is a transcriptional repressor. So all these are applications of the Cas9 system. I hope it has been uh, clear enough. I know it's 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 a bit of, it's a little bit uh, distracting and 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 confusing with websites with with papers. Uh, so, but that's the, that's essentially what the system is. There is a lot more to it. I'm not much familiar with Cas9. I only uh, scraped the beginning when we entered in mutagenesis. Um, so, but. Um, the system has is, is is evolving quickly and but what you know, what what we know f يعني ها أنا شفت أهم شيء نعرف البداية تبعته عشان نعرف how to utilize it different utilizations but this is what you have the NIC case the wild type and the inactive type or the the null type that's what we have so far مهم نعرف إنه uh, it uses the repair mechanisms تبعت الخلية نفسها to to introduce the mutations or the repair mechanisms. You can transcriptional block or activate, and uh, that's it. I'm sure you'll come back again, insha'Allah. The technical lectures.